what's up dragon brood today i want to do something a little bit different you know let's talk about ways to disconnect you know because i think it's a topic that comes up a lot that people are always curious about when they're on my streams and whatnot everybody kind of wants to know well what does somebody who's doing all this content do to separate themselves from the work i guess i put up a video and i'll try to remember to link it here a couple of weeks ago about a month ago i guess where you know i was out in the woods just taking a break i was camping you know and talked a lot about mental illness and personal health and i think that's something we need to always talk about uh openly clearly uh, speak without any type of i don't know negativity without accusations you know just let people open up that when they're having issues uh, just being able to express it and not worry about any ridicule or anything with that. The other side of that, though, is we also have to be better ourselves at just giving ourselves downtime or a way out. I mean, it's very easy. I mean, when you look at, you know, I've got a Twitch stream three nights a week and I've added an afternoon stream. You know, I'm doing a podcast every week. I'm putting videos up on YouTube every day. You know, at the end of the week, that could be anywhere between 15 and 20 hours of content uh, that y'all are getting to consume and that's not counting all the actual recording the editing you know everything else that goes into it you know building the thumbnails all that so it is a lot of time and it's becoming somewhat of a full-time job but at the same time I still have to give myself time to step away so one of the things I wanted to share is mostly because on my stream recently Somebody asks, like, well, what do I do when I'm not playing games or when I'm not streaming? And I have a whole host of things, you know, that I I enjoy board games, you know, some books. I have pets I tend to, you know, when I get around to it, I go play some disc golf. But uh, with the season being what it is, I've been spending time out with my blackberry bushes, vines, I don't know what you call them, bramble patches. Uh, and I have chickens and apparently the chickens seem to get everybody's attention every time I mention it either because people want chickens of their own you know and that's a thing or they're just surprised that I own chickens uh, so I decided I'm going to share some footage that I took yesterday of me dealing with my chickens in my yard just so y'all get an idea of kind of what my downtime away from gaming uh, looks like sometimes. People always ask if we have chickens, so I figured I would let people see all of our ladies. Though I know y'all are bothered we don't have snacks right now. Well, there's all six of them. I think you've seen them somewhere in the video so far. Um, actually, you know what? Here. See, they follow us around like puppies. So if you've never had chickens, you probably don't understand that uh, they are trainable. Uh, they're not the smartest things, but, you know, basic things like fear, food, whatever, all make sense to them. Uh, so here, I'm just getting some chicken scratch. Just give them something to snack on. Which is basically just like seeds and stuff, kernels. But they were about to be super excited. Uh, and they are very food motivated. They will practically murder each other. Uh, if I had footage from the morning wherever I'm getting blackberries, uh, you would see how much they go bananas for the blackberries. It's, it's absurd. Yeah, these are our six ladies. Uh, when they're in full lay, we probably get, I don't know, about three to four eggs a day between them. Uh, but a couple of them are starting to slow down. They're getting a little older. So, you know, uh, they're just kind of getting to live out a good life till that day comes. But we'll probably get a couple more going into next season as chicks. They'll be full grown in a few weeks to be ready to uh, start participating in the egg laying process. This is their, their caged area. 
Uh, there's some vines growing on it just because those started growing over from our giant blackberry patch over here, which right now, since it's in season, uh, speaking of, see the ladies followed me thinking there's blackberries happening. Uh, but right now with it being in season, I'm out here every morning and checking most evenings just because berries are ripening so fast and growing so fast. I'm probably pulling anywhere between 40 and 100 blackberries off there a day right now. But uh, there's a secondary vine that grows over blackberries that kind of lives with them. Uh, and when you leave them unchecked, they'll grow in here. I don't mind it though, because they're providing some type of extra like blanketing sun or whatever for the chickens. So I leave some of them, but then, you know, as they start getting crazy over here, I cut all this stuff out. Uh, but anyway, just so they can live comfortably and have what they need. And then, you know, they have their area they go into. At night, we don't have to tell them anything. They're smart, they know to stay safe. And then, you know, where I collect all their eggs and stuff is inside there. All right, I think, think that's it. People have gotten to see the chickens do their thing. Anyway, mostly want to do show the chickens because I have people who keep asking. So, chicken video with our six chickens. Uh, this time next year, it'll probably be, uh, well, depending on life expectancies and whatnot and other issues. Uh, we'll probably be somewhere between seven and eight chickens. Uh, just a few new ones in the mix uh, is really all. So yeah, those are the little runts that get in my way every time I go out to do yard work and stuff. Uh, we normally I have space, I can keep them separated, so they're, they're not at risk at any point. But the biggest thing is, you know, when we're talking about, especially right now in this new, like, post-COVID world, while, especially in the U.S., while we're still trying to get over it, and you can't do all the things you would normally do. You know, I, I'd go down and play some basketball with people periodically. Like, I've not done that in months. But you can still walk around your block. You know, like I said, play with your pets, do some yard work, do some gardening, bake, uh, you know, reading books, just getting out the house, to, even if it's just going and sitting in a park by yourself, you know, just enjoying the outdoors. I mean, there's a lot of things you can do still that don't require engaging with a bunch of other people physically and still give you a chance to step away. Like, it's important because one, just for your mental stress, right? Just even if you're like, hey, I've got this deadline, I gotta get this thing out. You know what, if your thing's a couple hours late or you don't put up a video today or your stream starts 15 minutes late, so what? It'll still be there when you get back. It's not worth the personal stress, anguish, anguish, whatever you're gonna put yourself through, you know? It's, it's important to maintain your schedules, yes but not to the detriment of your personal health. And I will say there's other benefits too. You know, when I take time away to read about another sport or read about maybe some new technique in cultivating the blackberries or how to care for the chickens, you'll see other things that you may not see otherwise. You know, even some of the ways I present my videos or probably over time gonna take elements from different things I see or that I just consume myself, you know, to get some other knowledge, but it's like, oh, hey, here's a way that I could film a video that the magic community or the gaming community doesn't really do. All right, cool, so now I found a new idea and a technique that had I just stayed, you know, tunnel vision with my head down, I would have never got exposed to that. So there's other benefits to it too, even beyond just your personal health. But more than anything, take care of yourself. You know, your community members that appreciate you, that do actually care about you or are interested in you and your well-being are gonna be totally fine when you come back. The ones that aren't, well, to be honest, you probably didn't need them part of your community anyway. Well, that's all I have for you for now. Remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and I'll get back to my regular content tomorrow. We'll see you next time.